Ultimate Frisbee is a sport we tend to hear little about. However, in recent years, it has taken off to become a globally recognized activity. To get a better understanding of the sport, we will be diving into the world of the Black Sheep Ultimate Frisbee team. Ultimate Frisbee is played by two teams trying to get a Frisbee disc into the opponent's side known as the end zone. Teams must work together to pass the disc down the field to score without dropping it and are unable to move whilst holding the disc. All this whilst the opponent's team is trying to block them. Anthony Bailey is one of the coaches and president of the Black Sheep Ultimate Team. Uh, we are now just in the run-up to Club Open Indoor Regionals, the qualifying championships for the national event at the start of next year. We've just had our final indoor session before that and we're really excited to people looking primed, focused and ready for the uh, event. Barney is a coach and keen player at Black Sheep who has been playing for over eight years. The last three years I've been playing with Black Sheep. Uh, Black Sheep is the team that, that's pushed me to play at a more competitive level uh, and really pushed myself to, to try and get the best results of tournament. They're accepting of absolutely anyone of, of any level. Uh, we have GB players all the way down to absolute beginners uh, at our training sessions and we take them to tournaments. It's a great place to learn. We spent a lot of last season rebuilding the team uh, to, to try and fit the style of having mixed ability players. Ended up with some great results uh, for our tour season. So there's seven main types of throw we use in Ultima. Uh, the first is a, a flat backhand. Uh, we can then throw roll curve throws to go around the opposition or, or to make the disc sit out. We then have inside out throws to go across the other side of the pitch or throw break throws to the other side of the field. Uh, we also throw flat side arms. Uh, this can come out as a roll curve as well and also as an inside out to go to the other side of the pitch. The last throw is, is great for going over the opposition and if there's a lot of space and that's a hammer throw. Nick Williams was a member of Black Sheep. However, last year he was selected to play for Team GB in the World Games where they came fourth. His expert knowledge is invaluable for the progression of Black Sheep. So from my experience as Black Sheep, um, I know the captain Ant really well uh, and I know a lot of the players. Uh, they've got a really strong core of players. Um, the trouble they sometimes have is that they have a lot of players who are on the periphery who aren't always present and may sort of pop in and out. Um, so it's really going to depend how well they uh, how well they can get their team cohesion together. Um, so, um, and I think if they can get team cohesion together, I think they can actually top seat or so be in the top sort of 50% of Ultimate in the UK. Every year, the Black Sheep Ultimate Club submits a team to the Regionals Tournament in Coventry. This tournament caters to every level of Ultimate, so it's a great opportunity for Black Sheep to make a name for themselves. The season coming in now, we're really hoping to push ourselves to, to get the, the best possible results at regionals. We've had some great new players join the club uh, that are bringing their own flavour and their, their own uh, style of play that's fitting really well with how we plan to play last season and how we're going to go to forward this season at regionals. So I'm really excited for the tournament and for the results. Uh, it's going to be great. The Open Regionals Tournament of the Allen Higgs Centre it's here Black Sheep 1 plan to make their break. However, it wasn't going to be easy with high competition and very experienced opponents. After a strong morning, Black Sheep had the opportunity to get an early victory. So next game, Leamington Lemmings 1. Uh, last game of the day, this is to decide whether we end up in the top eight for tomorrow uh, looking for nationals qualification spot. By the end of the day, Black Sheep 2 was flying up the lower ranks, but Black Sheep 1 had one last opportunity to make up for their shortfall from earlier. OK, so we've just found out that actually our final game of the weekend is Black Sheep 1 versus Black Sheep 2. After an extremely aggressive game, Black Sheep 2 were able to beat Black Sheep 1, which killed their chances for Nationals.
However, the club was able to leave satisfied that they now have two high-ranking teams. So while Black Sheep 1 held their place, Black Sheep 2 came up to join them. Uh, it shows a real strength in the club and it's a very exciting time to be part of this sport. 